Whether it's running into a burning building, chasing a crook after a bank robbery, it seems there's danger at every turn for police and firefighters, but we wanted to know just how dangerous it really was, so we rode along with them and we brought these small cameras, which we attached to the inside and outside of the vehicles, giving us a unique perspective. And what we found is sometimes the most dangerous part of their job is just getting to the emergency. Smoke in the utility room, dude. It's not the size will be echo response. or type of emergency. 92 for 33. It's getting there that counts. <laughs> Ask anyone who fires up the lights and sirens for a living. Doesn't do you any good if you crash your car or hurt somebody else when you go into an emergency. Well, we want to get there quickly, but we also have to get there safely. For nearly a decade, be nine years in July. Officer Anthony Carpita has been with the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety as a firefighter and police officer. One of them is on a single here, shift, one one, yeah, covers the entire city. Uh, I've had a lot of close calls. One night, we went along for the ride. You guys ready? To see exactly how drivers react. The threat is real. This November, an ambulance was in an accident in Grand Rapids. One year ago, two police cruisers in Kalamazoo collided while responding to a call. The dramatic collision was caught on one of the officer's dash cam. So we hooked up our cameras to Grand Rapids fire engine number four and asked three veteran firefighters about their experience on emergency runs. They say that it's the second likeliest way that we might die right behind heart attacks is getting in a vehicle accident on the way. A unique perspective gives them an edge scares them at the same time. From our view up here, we can see a lot of what's going on in the other cars, and you do see a lot of people on their cell phones, uh, a lot of people that don't realize that we're anywhere near. So by the time we get close enough to them that they hear us or see us, we're close enough that they get startled. We asked about how many calls on a given night do they notice a driver not pulling off to the right when they're heading to an emergency. It might be as much as half. In a vehicle this size, <laughs> making adjustments on the fly is constant. We're always trying to watch for the unexpected and trying to guess what the other drivers are going to do. But it's never easy. Back to Officer Carpita. A different vehicle in another city, the same story. You can't just assume that they're going to slow down and pull to the right. There was no shootout or high-speed chase, just a cold, snowy night, providing its own challenges. If I'm going right now, and this car in front of me, you all know, panics and locks up right there, you know, I got to go around into the incoming lane. We saw it on routine stops. One driver does the right thing, pulls over to the right, and comes to a stop. Then seconds later, a car in the left lane makes no attempt to get out of the way as an SUV comes barreling through the intersection on snow-covered roads. Time and time again, one driver obeys the law as others don't. An offense Carpito will issue a ticket for. I did that once. This one guy just would not get out of the way. And then I was just blocked away, so I turned around and found that guy and did him a ticket, yeah. How are you? It wasn't just those behind the wheel either. You gotta watch out for people, you gotta watch out for dogs, you gotta watch out for deer, you gotta watch out for everything. As if on cue, Officer Carpita, with lights and sirens, slows down to allow a person to cross the street in front of us. Reported. These are just average nights. They can't choose what emergency calls they go on. They never know who they'll encounter on the road. They can only hope you'll know what to do in the event of an emergency. And in case you were wondering, there's a fine if you do get a ticket. It's $153, and it also comes with four points on your driving record. So the bottom line is they just want you to get out of the way. Could save you some money and save a life or two. In Grand Rapids, Dave Spencer, Fox 17 News.